Their cross-country crime spree ended with a chase and a crash in Colorado. And today, three members of the Doherty gang sentenced to prison. But a 7 News reporter, Tyler Lopez, tells us they likely won't serve any of that time here in Colorado. They still face criminal charges both in Georgia and Florida, but they came to this town of Walsenburg, Colorado, back on August 10th of last year like no one could stop them. Today, the Doherty's lacked that same confidence. All three cried in court, and all three got significant prison terms. Not Judge Claude Appel acknowledged abusive, neglectful childhoods for this trio, but also sent each of the Doherty's to prison for well over a decade. Ryan, the classic getaway driver, for 18 years. So generally, I'm sorry for what happened. It is true that I acted out of desperation, and I am sorry for the choices that I made. 32 years for Dylan, the trigger man, firing 11 shots from an AK-47 as this white Subaru Impreza rocketed down I-25 at speeds of 120 miles per hour on August 10th. I would like to say it was a momentary lapse of judgment, but 10 days is not a lapse in judgment. It's, it's just bad poor thinking. 24 years for Lee Gray Stockerty, who pointed a loaded gun at Walsenburg Police Chief James Chamberlain, who shot her in the leg at 53 yards. And I think it was just divine intervention that none of the officers that were involved were injured or killed. And I think this is a fitting end. A defense attorney said the family had been blown apart by these sentences, but they will see each other again May 15th when they start to deal with federal bank robbery indictments in Georgia. In Walsenburg, Tyler Lopez, 7 News.